I'm at Bauman Farms at the entrance to the Dark Maze, the 2019 version. Uh, last time I was here, the maze was made of hay, so it's definitely not the same maze this year as it was before. Now, I've been through this once before real quick, but I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to get lost on purpose, see if I can enjoy the view here. It was, wow, it smells like fresh wood in here mostly. It's raining pretty hard outside, and it's a weekday. Oh wow, this way, I never would have guessed. Anyway, so I'm gonna cheat here, raise the camera up. So you see there was a couple of greenhouses, but they covered it with dark tarp to turn it into a big maze. So, it's, it's not too bad. It's not the biggest maze. Corn mazes are much bigger, but in a corn maze, you can kind of see what you're doing. So this makes it different. Remember, I've got my own light with me. I'll turn off the light here real quick. Okay, this is what it looks like for real. I mean, this is one of the brighter spots, but anyway, you get the idea. This is like the fair warning for the people who just got here so they know what they got themselves into. Notice some of the wood is painted, some of it's not. I don't know if there's supposed to be a pattern or if that's supposed to be a hint or what. It's interesting. See, here's green. So what does green mean? Emergency exit only. Of course, there's nobody here enforcing that. You could just walk right out, but you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of exploring the maze now, doesn't it? Anyway, I think these buildings are the same buildings as before. See, here's green to purple again and then unpainted. I have no idea what that means. I might ask them. I don't know, it's um, 4 p.m. and it's closing at 5 p.m. today, so I don't really have a lot of time to dawdle around now. See, there's purple on the, on the Purple on the right, green ahead, and then unpainted on the left. And then here's orange. What in the world? I don't know if they did it to make it interesting or if there's, a, whoops, how's it going? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just blind you there. All right. Now it's really a dark maze for them. All right, here we go. <laughs> the right way to explore this is to go through without a light, of course, but uh, I'm out of time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and explore it with a light. There's another hole in the ceiling, so you can kind of cheat and see where you are. You can see I'm still near the end of the building here. They got all sorts of equipment there so they could actually grow stuff in this greenhouse. I'm assuming they'd use it for actual food or something in the spring, and it sits idle this time of year. This is mostly a pumpkin farm, not a corn farm. So they do make money selling pumpkins out here. Other stuff. Now this, uh, the wall got knocked over part way. Interesting. I didn't know it. Notice it's all blue here. Wow, I'm going around in circles. Wow. Got some footprints on the walls there. I don't know wanna Yeah, I don't wanna know how that happened. Some bum decided to be funny maybe. Alright, here we go. Okay, well. See if I can go out here. See what's kind of funny though, since they do have lights on the ceiling, before I don't even remember them having lights on the ceiling, it actually makes it a little easier to navigate because you can just like, you know, uh, what do you call it, boaters at night, they can follow the stars and the moon, same thing. You could navigate this thing by using those lights on the ceiling as sort of a constellation. So at least that way you'll remember which way is north, which way is south. So it's definitely possible to navigate this thing without a light, but, well, my camera's just not up to the task. Something happened to the ceiling here. I didn't do it. Wow, look at that metal. Hope everybody's careful with their eyeballs around here. A little bit of junk on the floor here. Polo. <laughs> There's a bunch of people yelling Marco. I just said Polo, even though I have no idea who they are. Polo! All right. Polo! Thing is, we're not even playing Marco Polo, so there's absolutely no point in saying that. But I think I'm at the end of the building. You know what, I think I just found a big dead end. I was here before, but that's okay. It's funny, when you go really, oops, how's it going? Let's see if I can go this way. See, this is a weird olive green right here. So it's another color. Or wh whoops. Okay, so here's the end of the building. The, the end of the greenhouse. 
Although, I don't know if there's anything to the right of me here. I don't even remember which building I'm in now. Okay. Well, you know what? Just to be consistent, I think I'm going to keep turning left. There's some sort of, sort of orange or maroon. Yeah, that's a good word. Maroon. Here's that olive green again. Wow. There's green. I came from that way. And those women were this away. It's a school day. They looked young enough. They should be in school. But it's 4 p.m. Maybe they're here after school. Darn if I know. Not really in my business. Just an observation. Oh, what the heck happened to my... Okay. I don't know why my gimbal was pointing the wrong way. I wonder if I did a corner. Oh, what the heck? 